young Kellyanne Conway here, a.k.a. Tommy Loren, was debating uh, Tim Miller of the Bulwark podcast. And she is going to try to do this whole, you know, Democrats hate the cops. They think that cops are bad shtick. And this dude is going to dismantle her effortlessly. Effortlessly. Um, and I think that this should be the blueprint for anyone who talks to Republicans about this because they no longer have a leg to stand on. So I don't want to give away too much. This isn't the longest clip ever. It's like three minutes. But regardless, watch what he says when Tommy Loren tries to bring up this gotcha. In George Floyd riots, she said people are have every right to be out there. Don't expect it to stop. They shouldn't let up. She talked about reimagining policing, reimagining what ICE looks like. I mean, to say that she's anti-police, I'm not going off of that because I pulled it out of a coconut tree. I'm pulling it out of her own clips of her own voice, saying it out loud proudly. So if she's changed her position and now she's suddenly pro-police and she doesn't think policing needs to be reimagined and she doesn't want to abolish ICE, then don't you think she needs to articulate that to us? Yeah, and I, think, I don't I think she is. I, I don't, I mean, I think you're just trying to, to, you know, find things to be unhappy about because you've got to defend your man after, you know, he instigated a riot at the Capitol and tried to overturn the election. You got to find it, thought things. To her right, that face right there, she knows she is, she's backed into a quarter. She's fucked. Like this, you can't see it. This man with the pearl necklace is about to destroy her and she knows it's coming living in the past my friend she was a district attorney living in the past that shit was four years ago that shit happened the last election living in the past come on she's pro police uh, what's okay, over well, yeah the the fact that we have to debate whether or not kamala harris is pro police is so beyond the pale for me she's a fucking prosecutor are we really gonna have this conversation really we're having this conversation about whether or not Kamala is probably stop. Just stop. You look unserious. Okay, Kellyanne. January 6th is far. It, long it's gone. not really over because he's still he's still lying about the 2020 election. He's still advancing the lie that led to the attack on the Capitol. So it's not over. Police there. You want to be like, oh, Kamala's anti-police. Really? Donald Trump instigated that face. She knows. She's like, oh, my God, I'm getting wrecked in this debate. You never want to be in that position. Um, because everything he's saying is true. A riot at the Capitol where 100 plus police were injured. He won't apologize for it. He's happy about it. He wants to he wants to pardon and get out of prison the people that attacked the cops at the Capitol. That guy's not pro police. And he was asked I about don't... this recently in an interview and he went back down. He said the thing that really upset him was the lefty protesters that injured that that that, that painted the marble at the Capitol. And, and as a builder, he's really upset about the marble. He's not upset about the cop that lost his eye. Donald Trump hasn't called him. He hasn't called Brian Sicknick's family. Like, give me a break. Well, I don't like Sicknick, this whole, like, okay. Kamala's anti-police. Well, Donald did, Trump is anti-police. Brian Sicknick did not die because of January 6th. So oh, that's... really? Oh, it was just a coincidence? Or just a quinky dink that there was a riot at the Capitol and one of the officers there died? Yeah, because he... Uh, okay. This is insane that she's making this argument. She's actually going to argue here that she thinks it's a coincidence that that police officer died. Has nothing to do with the insurrection. It just, you know, it's a coincidence. Shit happens, right? It's crazy she's making this argument. And it's so disingenuous, I guarantee you, that she doesn't believe the bullshit she's spewing. She's just trying to defend her guy, as he said. Um, and this is why, like, I hate partisan, hacky team politics, because if you're not objective, you're going to to back yourself into a corner and be forced to defend something that's indefensible. But like me, I don't have that problem, right? I can criticize Democrats. I can criticize Republicans. I can glaze up a party that does well. I'm a free agent for the most part, right? I have my biases, of course. Uh, I don't think both parties are equal. I think that Republicans are much more demonic than Democrats are, generally speaking. But I have no problem admitting that there's a deficiency with the Democratic Party's platform or something that they said. Whereas Tommy Loren, she's just a hack. Like, she's going to defend Republicans no matter what. She's a one-trick pony. So, you know, if you don't become a hack like this, then you don't have to look foolish and get forced to defend things that you know you shouldn't be defending. He, he suffered a, he suffered a, a medical a emergency, man. I believe, a stroke after that event. Yeah. So it you think a stroke would have happened if he was just sitting there? 
Mind yeah, in his own probably. business. Doing people general have strokes work of the all day? the time. People have strokes okay. all the time. All right, Tom. But- so goddamn disingenuous. Come on. Yeah, you're I, really pro police. I love how well, you're showing your pro police listen, cards by diminishing the There are the a few people on planet Earth that are as pro police as I am. And if you want There's few people on Earth that are as pro police as I am. Come on. You're really going to say that? Why do why do Trump supporters always have to be like I don't just like uh ice cream? Nobody's ever liked ice cream as much as I have. Like why do they have to be so goddamn hyperbolic? Jesus Christ, I love Elden Ring, love the DLC, but if I were a Trump supporter, I'd be like, nobody's ever loved the DLC in the history of Soulsborne fans as me. Like, why do they have to say shit like this? It's so unserious and corny. I don't, I don't understand it. I want to look at the record. I was very vocal on January 6th, and every day since January 6th, I have right. condemned it loudly. Go check oh, out Oh, really? My- every day? Really? Every single day? Did you condemn it today? Kelly, did you? don't think so in In fact do it right now he should be like okay do it right now condemn it right now just take some time condemn january 6th condemn the insurrection condemn donald trump's big lie that led to the insurrection condemn him for inciting the insurrection like he should put her on the spot i mean i already put her on the spot but he should do that too that wants to pardon all Listen, the people that committed Donald the, Trump the, doesn't want to pardon the people that took that took part in anything violent. The people that, that were simply at the Capitol. Said that? Would were they arrested for just like being there? Like the people who were arrested were the violent people who broke windows, who were trespassing and shit like that. Um I, I just I, I feel like what she's trying to defend here is so hard to defend. You couldn't get the best lawyer to defend this shit. But she's like, nope, I'm going to try. I'm going to try because you have to defend them since jo- Donald Trump is defending them. It's it's so wild to me. She's such a liar. The Can you show that me that? Sim- I, would love, he has. I would love to apologize and be wrong. Please show me where Donald Trump said he's not planning on pardoning the, 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 the people that were violent well, and attacking he's, police. He's clarified, that. he's clarified that the people that, that were just at the Capitol that day, they didn't do anything mm. Should not be thrown in the gulag, okay? How many of them are thrown in the gulag? I mean, how many people are there? I mean, I don't think they'd still be in prison if they didn't do something very serious. It's just so crazy. So crazy. Yeah, so, you know, there you have it. Uh, Tommy Loren got owned during this debate. And um, it was easy. So, listen, the next time you're arguing with your conservative uncle uh, on Facebook or, you know, during Thanksgiving dinner, and he's like, man, I can't support Kamala because she supports, uh, she doesn't support the police enough, use this argument against them because this is very effective. You easily turn their own bullshit back on them, and they have no way of getting out of that corner. I promise you. It worked. You could even put on a pearl necklace and do it might actually add uh, plus 10 effectiveness if you do. So I'd recommend it. So go get yourself a nice little pearl necklace and fucking clap the cheeks of your conservative family members. Let's do it. Pearl necklace of argumentation plus one equipped. Exactly. <laughs> if you put on the uh, the camo Harris Walls hat, you get a uh, plus 10 intelligence as well. So there's certain items that you can equip that will definitely help you when you're debating your conservative family members.